Dun, da, da, da. Straight from the Andorran Mountains. Or if you're a USA distributor, Golden, Colorado. So let's unbox this baby, see what we have. Introducing the 2019 Common Sal Absolute Dirt Jumper. pedals and we also have front disc rotor and reflectors we have a uh, cable here brake lever and our brake rotor tie wraps to tidy the cables up and some instructions they don't think i'll be running the front brake for now but uh, it's good to have these so we're at 26 pounds four ounces this is out of the box as it comes except for one up nylon pedals and obviously air in the tires is at about uh, 40 psi front and back and the air shock i didn't uh, mess around with the pressure seemed to be the right amount for me which is about 27 psi so other than the pedals this is how it would come to you 1.96 kilograms Without the, uh, the bike comes without the front disc rotor and the front brake lever mounted. Let's take the pedals off and we'll get um, pretty much the exact factory weight. All right, so uh, I remove both of the pedals, put it back on. It is 25 pounds, seven ounces, 11.6. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. All right, I'm gonna start on the non-drive side and go over everything from bottom up. So first we have uh, Maxxis DTH um, tires and they're called skin wall. I call them tan wall, um, but they look uh, pretty good uh, on this deep red. So pretty happy with that. Then we have uh, Manitou Circus 
expert model fork 100 millimeter of travel and uh, the front hub is actually a formula hub and uh, six bolt disc mount uh, don't have a disc rotor mounted right now and uh, the rims are Alex rims pretty much I know I've, I've had some spokes pinging already so I don't think they would be detentioned from the factory um, it seems like they've gotten better after the first ride, so I might have to put them on the true and stand here pretty soon. But um, grips are uh, grips, handlebar, and stem are all Ride Alpha, which is um, Commonsell's house brand. You know they look pretty good. Um, I can tell you I will be changing out bars and my and uh, brakes. So this is a uh, Tektro. Uh, I think it's these are hydraulic I think it's the 285 model uh, which is their kind of budget brake and I have not had a lot of success with these before and even right now um, not necessarily like them that much so probably going to trade these out for some uh, some SRAM codes and uh, that'll make the cockpit a little bit more like uh, my uh, my mountain bike but um, yeah and so the seat is a common sal uh, pivotal mounted seat i think they partnered up with velo on the seat here pretty cool looking seat it is rather small for sure and the seat post is a ride alpha as well which is uh, common sal's house brand so a lot of house brand parts on here like you would see on a specialized or a giant or even a trek so a lot of house brand stuff um does have a bmx crank on it i think it's uh chromoly cranked and then I did put my one-up pedals on it single speed chain tensioner on the back again Maxxis tires skin wall DTH and let's see what did I miss uh, Yabin chain uh, not that familiar with them but uh, that's what it has on it and let's see what did I miss oh yeah 160 millimeter uh, Tektro rotor on the back and Tektro calipers. Like I said, I'm going to be swapping these out. This is the small medium frame, uh, which the reason why I got rid of the Morpheus Vimana was because of the reach and uh, just didn't, I couldn't get used to the frame. This one has a little bit shorter reach than the Vimana had. So I rode it yesterday a bit. Looks, uh, looks like it's going to do pretty good for my. Uh, size requirements so so yeah so the things I'm going to change out I've got some deity bars coming that are 760 millimeters same width as these um, but they just uh, the sweep and the angle on them to me I like those bars better um, I also have a couple of parts laying around I'm probably going to change out the seat post and the seat I think I have a couple of seats um, from my last build that I might look at doing but uh, probably either a uh, deity seat or maybe uh maybe a um, sdg apollo or SG, sdg patriot or something of the, the similar there um, so i'll trade those out and like i said i'll put the shram code r brakes not sure if i'm going to run a front yet or not i might depending on what i'm trying to learn um, so so yeah that basically covers it i'm pretty budget build but um all in all, I've been pretty pleased with it so far, except for really the back brake. I haven't been able to get it to really um, get any bite whatsoever. Um, so, you know, it is the budget brake line, but uh, Tektro, I know you have a professional uh, build line called TRP, but I tell you, I mean, if you buy a Shimano um, budget brake, they always um, have enough clamping force to, to even lock the tire up with my weight. So not uh, not particularly keen on these brakes um, also the other thing I mentioned too is, is that the rear wheel the rear hub is actually a Novatech rear hub which they've kind of in the mountain bike world they've had uh, there's been some issues with Novatech hubs these apparently have been beefed up for DJ riding uh, we shall see um, I might end up having to get a new wheel set at some point in time, but uh, for now, I'm just going to ride these. I'm not going to be doing anything uh, 
crazy on this thing anyhow. All right, party people, it's already started to rain out here. Um, this stuff is getting pretty slick. But uh, we have raindrops already and it's uh, it's a continuous sprinkle now, so. Hopefully the rain will uh, stay away and maybe give us a little dry spell tomorrow, but it looks like we're gonna get rained out today, so. If it's the first time to the channel, or if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, and click the bell for post notifications. You'll get notified of all the up new uploads. Give me a big thumbs up down below if you do like the content. Until next time, skill up and ride.